In this video, I'm going to be showing you what it took to assemble my Ultimaker kit, all the way from the unboxing to the first print. Alright, when you crack open that Ultimaker box, you'll get three levels of cardboard trays, all with components, and then the last level will have your wooden pieces. Alright, let's build us an Ultimaker. But I gotta move that quadcopter first. Mm. The first part of assembly is putting together the chassis. Now this was kind of confusing at first, trying to get the orientation of all the parts and all the faces, but once you start getting it going, it comes together pretty quickly. Alright, at this point I have the chassis pretty much put together and I'm working on the XY blocks. These things were a pain in the butt. If I ever have to do it again a second time, it'll be a lot easier, but getting your mind wrapped around how all the pieces go together the first time, it's pretty confusing. So take your time and do it right the first time. Now on to the hot end. This sucker was pretty fun to put together, except for that long tube that kept whacking me in the head. The stock cooling fan shroud sucks, plain and simple. So one of the first things you need to do is print a new one. There's lots of good options on Thingiverse. Alright, so getting the XY carriage into the Ultimaker chassis was also a daunting task. If I had another couple arms, it would have been a lot easier, but one person holding four different things is kind of difficult. But lo and behold, with patience and a hammer, I was able to get everything in. But seriously, be really careful when you're putting in the X and Y axis rods. These things, if they're not perfectly parallel, will cause you a lot of grief down the road. So take your time and make sure everything's perfect. Alright, now we just have to assemble that build platform. At this point, this thing actually looks like a 3D printer. I was getting pretty daggum excited, but I had to get all the electronics in at the bottom end. A few wires here, a couple plugs there. Presto, we got ourselves a working Ultimaker. Alright, so now I'm going to calibrate the Z-axis switch to make sure that it clicks off right before the nozzle hits the bed. Okay, so I calibrated the Z-axis switch. I leveled the bed. Now it's time to plug this bugger in and see what it does. Oh man, it glows blue. I love blue LEDs. Alright, I got the shakes. I'm so excited at this point. I have to download Arduino drivers, install Cura, and then I'm ready to do my first test print. And what do you know? The robot turned out pretty good. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're on the fence between buying a kit or a pre-assembled unit, I would really encourage you to buy the kit. It's such a good experience to put it together. That way, when anything breaks or anything goes wrong, you know exactly how to fix it. You know exactly what's happening when it makes funny noises. But if you were that kid that always glued his fingers together and never really liked working with his hands, you should probably go ahead and get the assembled kit. Either way, get an Ultimaker. This thing's awesome. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do that. I try to post a video every week with something interesting about 3D printing. If you have any questions, ask them down in the comments below. Oh, and please like my channel, like my videos, that helps me out a lot. 
Remember how I said the stock cooling shroud sucks? Well, I'm working on something new that'll cool a lot better, so stay tuned for that video.